sentenced as a galley slave on a French ship. He looked up as they sailed past St. Andrews, Scotland and said, I see the steeple of that place where God first in public opened my mouth to glory. And I am fully persuaded I shall not depart this life till my tongue shall glorify his godly name in that same place. John Knox was eventually released, met John Calvin, and returned to Scotland where he confronted Mary, Queen of Scots, mother of England's King James I. In 1560, John Knox led Scotland to establish the Presbyterian Church. Dying November 24th, 1572, John Knox stated, a man with God is always in the majority. A descendant of John Knox was Presbyterian minister John Witherspoon, who signed the Declaration of Independence and, as president of Princeton, taught James Madison. On May 26, 1789, the Presbyterian churches in the United States wrote to President Washington. We esteem it a peculiar happiness to behold in our chief magistrate a steady avowed friend of the Christian religion, who in his private conduct adorns the doctrine of the gospel of Christ. President Washington replied in May of 1789, while I reiterate the professions of my dependence upon heaven, I will observe that no man who is a profligate in his morals can possibly be a true Christian. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.